Hello everyone, in this video we are going to learn how to send SMS messages in Twilio for new database items in Notion. So we will learn that how you can integrate these two applications Notion and Twilio in such a way that as soon as you add a new item in your database in Notion, so an SMS will be sent via Twilio. In this integration that we are going to create using Pabli Connect, our trigger will be the new item added and our action will be to send SMS via Twilio. Let us learn how to do that. So in this video, we will learn how you can send an SMS via Twilio for any new item that you might have created in your Notion database. Like I have created this list of inquiry list and I will add the name, the contact, the email address and also the type of inquiry that that specific person has made. And then I will send an SMS using Twilio on this contact number that we have been provided. Let us quickly sign in into our automation software Pabli which will take me to this place where I can see all the applications provided by Pabli. And today for this automation, we are going to use Pabli Connect to create it. Click on access now and we will reach the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Here you will see the prior workflows created by me. So you have to create a workflow from scratch. So click on this big blue button on your right side and give a suitable name to your workflow. I'm going to name it as send SMS messages in Twilio for new database items in Notion. Click on create and then a blank workflow will be created for you. Here you can see on your screen, you have trigger and action windows. Trigger says when this happens and action says do this. So trigger is going to be the first application where we are going to make the changes manually and action will be where the action application will perform an action that is assigned to them automatically because of this workflow. In today's workflow, our trigger will be Notion where we are going to create a record or a new item in the database and our action will be Twilio which will automatically send an SMS for the same. So let us choose our trigger application as Notion. And the event will be new database items. Click on connect. We are connecting Notion and Pabli Connect in such a way that every time a new item is created over here, that detail is sent to this workflow as a response. Click on add new connection, connect with Notion, and then you might have to select the database on which you want to work. So these are the options that are given to you. You have to select the permission. Click on select pages and over here either you can select all the databases or you can be very specific of selecting the one you're working upon. Like we are working on inquiry list so I'm going to choose that one. Click on allow access and it will be connected. Now once this is done, you will have a database ID over here as the name of the database. It is the same as the one we are right now working. So now let us go to our database and create a new item over here. So I'm going to name the person as this is the name. I will add the contact of the person, the email address, and the type of the query. This is the query. This is done, and I will close this window. Go back to our public connect and click on save and send test request. And here we have received the response. So see, we have the type of the query over here. Then we have the name of the person, and we have the email of the person and the number as well. So this number is really very important because we are going to send an SMS on this number only. So in our response from the trigger application, we have received the details about the newly created item in our database. Now let us choose our action application as Twilio. And the event will be to send SMS message. Click on connect and add new connection. Now when you want to connect your Twilio and Pabli Connect, you have to make sure that you have to enter the SID authorization token and again the SID over here. So when you open your Twilio over here, scroll down and here you will find the SID token and also the Twilio phone number that will be needed further in this workflow. So copy this SID from here and paste it in the respective place. In two places you have to paste it, then the authorization token is required. So it will be unique for everyone, copy this and paste it over here. Click on save and your Twilio and Pabli Connect will be connected. Now frame a body for the SMS that what you want to send to the person. So I'm writing over here, dear, the name of the person can be mapped. So mapping is basically to insert data from the previous step. And for the previous step, we have provided this drop down menu that is Notion or it will be any tri trigger application that you will be using in that workflow. Open this menu and over here you will find all the responses from your trigger application. This is the name of the person. And I will frame the message as, now this is the message that I have drafted. The sender number, as I mentioned, that we will be requiring a number. So this is your unique number created by Twilio so that your personal number doesn't get used over here. And you will paste this one in your workflow. So this is the sender's number. And in the recipient number, you will map the number from here, which is in your database. 
so this is the number make sure that you have added plus and your country code over here as mentioned right here now you're going to click on save and send test request and here we have received the response so this is the message that has been sent to our number so let us go to our text messages and check that have we received a message or not so here is the message that we have received and sent from your Twilio trial account, dear first person. We have successfully received your query. We will get back to you soon and thanks. So we were successfully able to send an SMS with the help of this automation. So our trigger was Notion. Whenever a new item will be created in your database, then Twilio will make sure to send an SMS to these details given over here. So this was the whole workflow. I hope this helped. Not just these applications, but you can integrate many other applications using Pabli Connect. If you have any issue regarding Pabli, you can email us at support at pabli.com. You can ask your queries at forum.pabli.com. And if you have any doubts regarding our pricing, then you can connect us through this given website. If you found this video helpful in any way, then make sure to share this with your friends and colleagues to make their life easier by creating automations. We will meet in the next video. Till then, do not forget to like our video and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.